Hello and welcome to the, the Sandbrook, Sandbrook Adventures. Adventures, where we're here in Germany to come and see Neuschwanstein Castle. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm never very good with pronunciation. However, I have wanted to see this ever since I was a kid. In fact, I first saw this castle in the film Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. And I remember seeing it and thinking that looks beautiful. Fairy tale castle set in the mountains, and this looks stunning, doesn't it? Oh, as we was driving up, it just looks so pretty. So I can't wait to see it up close. Oh, and that's the thing. We're actually going to make our way to a viewpoint from a bridge looking out over the castle and also as well all the mountains where we're going to get some great scenery. Firstly though let me talk about where we're parked. So when you're making your way down towards the castle you will see lots of signs for parking and it seems like they've got four main car parks. I was looking online at the best one to park on for walking up to get this view and we've gone for parking four. Now we're not actually going to be heading into the castle today. It was a bit of a last minute trip. Um, it does sell out weeks in advance. Oh you can see a picture of it there on the side of the bus. But yeah from my understanding you can't park up directly by the castle. So you park around here and then you jump on one of these buses that takes you up to the castle itself. Uh, however, you can walk um, to get some great views. And we've got lots of different um, parts where you can walk around here. And uh, yeah, we're actually gonna follow a footpath. It's gonna take about 30 minutes. And uh, it looks like the entrance to it is just over here. But yeah, we're in a lovely little German town. The scenery driving down here is great. You've also got another castle just over there too. However, the main event is in this direction. You've got some gift shops around here. Um, you've got lots to see, like, it's a very touristy place. But yeah, I'm really excited to see it, a bit of a bonus for the trip. Very scenic little place this is. And yeah, you've got all the shops down there, little cafes, lots of accommodation around here too. And yeah, parking four seems like the best one for this trail. I can see why the website that I read said go on this one because there was other parking in that direction. But yeah, literally we're only parked down there. And yeah, I think it's 10 euros for the day for parking or you can pay by the hour. We've just come in the afternoon because uh, we've been at a theme park in the day. But you know what, we like to get some culture in as well. And yeah, I love castles and this looks stunning, it really does. And yeah, we're making our way up. I'm gonna save the reveal of the view until we get up there. You can just see it behind us, but yeah, I'm gonna uh, wait until we get closer. Ready to get some steps in Charlotte. Yeah. Saying it's about a 1.2 kilometre walk and it's gonna be quite steep and hilly. Oh, and here's the pathway. As you can see, you can have a horse ride. Up to the top and back down if you'd like to. Oh, look at the beautiful horses. You having a nice beer? And yeah, I've got Google Maps up to follow this walkway, but I think it's one of them really, just follow the crowd with something like this. Yeah, nice horses. And we did see something with cows, didn't we, on the way up? Oh, we saw some cows and they've got like little gold bells around the neck, which was really nice. They were like the milker cow. Oh, so cute. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, let's carry on walking up. The good thing is it's steep going up, but we'll be all right coming back down. I've climbed Ben Nevis though, so it should be all right. That was a five hour climb. And if you're thinking, oh, it's quite a trek for them horses to keep going up and down this hill. Yeah, it's actually a motorised vehicle as well. Uh, so yeah, it helps the horses along. And you also might be thinking, hang on, there's a road. Why don't you just drive up here? Yeah, you're not allowed to drive down this pathway. And yeah, if you're coming down here like on an evening, it has got lighting down the side. Looks like the lights are quite new though. And I was thinking, oh, we need to make sure we get up here plenty of time, you know, before sunset, which is about 6.15 at the moment. Um, but yeah, we're doing all right. Oh, there's a nice little waterfall here as you're making your way up. Yeah, we've been going for about 10 minutes so far. Seeing all these people come back down. It's going to be a nice walk coming down. I know that as you're climbing all the way up. That's quite pretty, isn't it? So we've been walking now for about 15 minutes. And yeah, there is lots of seats on the way up. And yeah, lots of seating just off to the right there too, which is fantastic. And yeah, there is a little shop just here as well. A little pit stop along the way. Charlotte's just getting a nice classic coat just up there. <laughs> you get an ice cream on your way up as well. And here we go, here's the castle, close up. Wow, it is beautiful to see. And the view is gonna get amazing of this because we're going higher than the castle and basically we're gonna see the castle in the foreground and all the mountains in the background. We've got about another 20 minute walk. It is quite uphill, uh, so bear that in mind if you are coming, it's pretty steep. However, you have got a shop along the way just here to grab some supplies and we've got some water um, as well, which is fantastic. Yeah, all these cars that are coming up this way must have special permits because we couldn't drive and park up here. Yeah, look at the castle, it is stunning. And I'll give you lots more history about it when we get further up. Beautiful. Oh, look at this gorgeous building over here. Yeah, a restaurant, like a beer garden outside here. Had the big steins. Look at the details on that building. That is gorgeous to see. 
Wow, how are you getting on, Charlotte? My ice cream and drink is in jeopardy. Oh, what happened? They don't take cards. Oh, I've no. Got no cash right to put back. <laughs> oh. Good, we have got some water, though, I on know, us. but it was a nice cherry coke and some of them little ice cream <laughs> things, and he was like, no card. And I was like, the thing is, in this day and age, most places are like card only, aren't they? I so. have a card <laughs> yeah, In this day and age, let's carry on climbing up. It is already beautiful to see, and we've got a long way to go until we get to the viewpoint still, but it's gonna be more than worth it. And yeah, some of the details on here, especially on that turret, may seem quite familiar. And that's because this very castle actually inspired Disney with Cinderella Castle. And yeah, you can see a lot of the details, like the turrets, the shape of the windows, and you'll really get that vibe when we get up to the top. Oh, there's already some cracking views as we make our way up. And yeah, that is the road just over there that we drove in. And yeah, you can see the church just down there. And yeah, I pulled up just at the side of the road and captured this footage from just down there. Look at that. So you get a good idea on where we are location-wise now, walking up this mountain. And yeah, of course you can see the beautiful castle there. And yeah, that was taken from right there, down on the road. Stunning. So we're about halfway up to the viewpoint that we're going to. However, there is a viewpoint just here too. And as you can see, there's a little glass balcony. And yeah, gonna get a nice shot for you all around here now. Looking at the castle. Oh, that is stunning. Oh, wow. What really makes that as well is the fact that you've got the low cloud. And yeah, we're going somewhere around the back. I think it's possibly where them people are. Oh, it's still quite a walk. Oh, I ain't tell Charlotte. <laughs> She's just around the corner, catching her breath. Oh, that is incredible. There is another small gift shop and eatery just over here. However, it is cash only. So bear that in mind if you are coming here. You don't often say that now in many places. But yeah, cash only. Yeah, we're going to continue the walk. So yeah, we're actually right here close up to the castle now. However, we're going to be heading this way. And I believe the pathway kind of spans round the back before we climb up a bit steeper. Oh, and here's a nice close up look at this beautiful castle. Yeah, construction started in 1869 and was completed in 1886. Around here at the side then now, and look at this, it is impressive, isn't it, when you see it close up? Yeah, you can really see now how Disney were inspired by this. Like, look at the turrets on the side, like all the details. It is gorgeous just to come and see this in person after all these years. Remember watching Chitty Chitty Bang Bang when I was a small kid? Here I am now, 30 years of age, seeing that actual castle in person. Here you see the people on the balcony there. Like I say, it is sold out to actually go inside. Lots of different walking trails around here if you've got much longer time here to enjoy it all. Four hours? Yeah, <laughs> there you go. And there is actually a cable car around here somewhere. Again, would have liked to have done that, but this morning we didn't wake up thinking we were coming here. Basically, we went to a theme park called Skyline Park about an hour away from here. You can see the vlog on Theme Park Worldwide. And we'd seen and done everything because it was so quiet by two o'clock. And I knew this was about an hour and 15 minutes drive. So I thought, let's just go for it. You only live once. We are the Sandbrook Adventures after all. Um, but yeah, if you really wanted to, you could hike to the cable car about three and a quarter hours. And uh, yeah, that'll be our plan for next time we come. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're doing the four and a quarter instead. Oh, we're doing really well so far. We're just over 20 minutes into climbing up here and already look at this amazing view. Oh, this is stunning, isn't it? And yeah, in terms of where we actually are in Germany, in South Germany, um, kind of at the foothills of the Alps, uh, just north of Austria and yeah, here in Bavaria. And yeah, there's the other castle just over there that we can see. And that means we can actually see the car park, parking number four, just down there. And I can just see my car, can you see it? There we go, the red Renault Clio just down there, that's me. Parts on the car park, just down there at the bottom. That's me for now anyway, not for very long. <laughs> but yeah, here's the view. I mean, that is phenomenal. Just coming up to this part here and seeing it, when we were walking down all them roads and little streets down at the bottom, you wouldn't think you were surrounded by all of this natural beauty because of course everything's just, you know, you've got all the trees there, the building's blocking it. And you come up here and you realize it's right by this body of water. And yeah, this is amazing to see. Incredible, yeah, part of Germany, part of the world that I've never seen before really. How are you getting on? I'm getting there slowly. I've just said to Sean, you just go and I'll just follow at my own pace. <laughs> this is nice though, isn't oh, it's it? it's lovely, isn't it? It's some of the best scenery I think I've ever seen. It is gorgeous, but yeah, we're gonna continue on 
walking up. Not too far now, we're way over halfway. And we're just gonna keep on walking and keep climbing up higher here now. Whew, it's not as steep actually at this part like it was back down there. However, I feel like it may get steeper again when we go around this corner. Oh, it looks like a sign for the Magic Kingdom, doesn't it? What I didn't realize is where the bus actually drops you off is right here. So you could have got the bus up actually. Your time there, I've trekked with this hill, <laughs> I could have got on that bus. Think of the exercise, Charlotte. Yeah, I know, I'll be having a big meal for tea tonight. In a way though, this makes you appreciate it even more. We've trekked up a long way, but yeah, you could just get the bus right from the car park. Well, 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 that doesn't take you all the way. That brings you to this part. So yeah, it's worth pointing out, if you are booked in to go to the castle, you'll walk down this bit where we just have. It's probably about a five, six minute walk. And then, yeah, you get your bus back down. Or you can walk back down. There's the bus. <laughs> I like the fact we've walked. It makes it more authentic. And this is actually where we're heading to. This bridge that is built behind the castle. And yeah, we're gonna be greeted with those views in less than 10 minutes. And here we go. We've made our way to the bridge. In fact, it was only a few minutes around the corner from that sign. And this is the bridge. We'll get some excellent views. Now, if you want to, you can actually go a little bit higher up to get some views too. I mean, you can see some people really steep just up there, but we'll see what the views are like from here. I'm sure Charlotte will be staying right here anyway. I will not be <laughs> This is the main viewing part now that I'm looking forward to. Look at this bridge. It's really small, isn't it? But I'm really excited to see this view. This is the most photographed angle, one of the most visited places in Germany, one of the most romantic apparently as well. We can make our way out over and we're greeted with this view. Wow. Oh, feels a bit... I know, it does. <laughs> well, it's better than that, it feels a bit unstable. Wow. I mean, it is worth it for that, isn't it? All right, let's walk a little bit further along. And here it is, Neuschwanstein Castle in all of its beauty. All the hills there behind it. And this is the most famous angle of it. I think I just heard a bell when we're inside it too. I mean, imagine constructing something like that. It was a trek to get up here, but it was worth it. And yeah, you can really see how Disney were inspired now with Cinderella Castle. I mean, especially looking at the top turret just up there. It looks like something straight out of a Disney park, except this is the real thing and it's much older. It's just so many stunning details on it. I'd love to go inside here at some point in the future. I really would, I'm sure it's a great experience. However, this is the viewpoint. And yeah, worth pointing out, of course, you can actually get the bus. It drops you off about a five minute walk from where we are for this amazing view. You don't have to do the big climb all the way up. <laughs> I didn't realize now, when I did my research, it was only very last minute research this afternoon, I thought the entrance to the castle where the bus dropped you off was a completely different place to here. But don't you worry, you can get the bus up if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> it's breathtaking though, isn't it? Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Really magical. Well, it's coming up in the afternoon, actually, it's not too crowded on here to take photos. So yeah, whilst there's nobody on this bit, going to uh, take the opportunity to get some shots and get some more views of the castle for you. And just around the corner, peace and quiet. It's so tranquil around here. Uh, you can just hear the waterfall down at the bottom too, which is stunning. You know, I just been having a look on Google Maps to see if I can get some shots with all the mountains behind, because I have seen photos of that. However, it looks like it's quite a walk still in this direction, possibly another 30 to 40 minutes to go even higher up. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be doing that today. However, I am really pleased with the views there um, from the bridge, and I'm gonna get some more shots for you all. Quite a drop down there. Gonna be a good couple of hundred feet, I'd say. Yeah, this bridge does not feel very stable. <laughs> I'm sure it is though, that kind of adds to it. And yeah, it's just started to rain as well. There's all the clouds. Very low cloud and yeah, very close to the Alps. Somewhere I'd love to come and explore more of in the future and definitely will do. Wow, that is phenomenal, it really is. But yeah, it looks like it's still quite a walk up that way to get the views of the mountains because you've got to think we've got to be higher up than where we are and the mountains were kind of over in that distance so yeah if you carried on kind of around that way and up you'd be looking across in this direction and yeah i'd certainly do that in the future but i'm more than happy just to see it in person and 
get this view of it. I mean, the most famous and iconic view of this incredible castle. And that's the thing, the further around you go as well, you're not going to quite get the shots of this side here. Maybe it's one of those as well, with it being quite cloudy. From this angle, sometimes you maybe get views of the mountains over in the distance here as well. I'm just going to get a few nice cinematic shots for you now of this beautiful castle in southern Germany. Some spectacular cinematic shots there showing you the castle and all of the gorgeous surroundings and yeah as you can see there's some information all about the castle here and why it was built in this location and all because of prince ludwig as you can see there and a bit of information about the bridge just there too oh incredible what an experience coming down here to see it well if you wanted to you can just come up on your moped that's what he's doing anyway <laughs> i don't think he's supposed to be but there you go sure he's not going to cross the bridge in that <laughs> anyway, after taking in the study views and the sun came out for us on cue as well, we're going to start to make our way back down. It's one of those you could spend a full day around here hiking and seeing different pathways. Uh, like you've got a pathway there, there's loads of maps, and it seems like there's so many different viewpoints that you can get at the castle as well. But yeah, it was incredible, wasn't it? Oh, it was. I can see why a lot of people have got like proper walking gear because it would be like off paths. Like, yeah. Going through leaves and climbing. That's oh. why they've got all the walking gear. I'd love to see you doing I that. Yeah. Doing that. <laughs> um, yeah, like you can walk up that way is another path but you got to think there's like a an hour and 20 minutes or so until sunset so um yeah we're gonna make our way back down give us plenty of time and i've worked up quite an appetite but yeah there's literally I'm where we can starving. get the bus we can but get the bus if you want charlotte no i don't mind walking down yeah sure <laughs> there's only one slight incline going back down but if you're coming to see it it's well worth coming around the back there for those views phenomenal and yeah i'll come back in the future and maybe try some of these other trails we could um come back up here on the bus next time and walk a bit further up to get some different views but without proper equipment proper walking gear yeah i wouldn't want to be going up some of them inclines just wearing my sketches <laughs> oh here we go here's a map actually, i actually didn't see this on the way up yeah there's the castle you can see the parking areas down here at the bottoms so, yeah we've done like one of these routes probably this route here i think we did all the way up round back up and up to here and then obviously there's further routes you can do in the distance we've walked quite a bit though it's about a mile and a half that we've done so um yeah but it was it was incredible to see oh, look, it and there's the bus coming yeah. up there, look. <laughs> the bus route on the up. map <laughs> I tell you what, it's much easier walking back down than it was coming up, but it was worth it. It felt like we were stepping into a real life fairy tale seeing that. Absolutely amazing. And with the low cloud really added to it as well. Oh. So if you are planning on going inside the castle, you can't take any bags or anything like that. So there is lockers provided outside, but you do have to pay for them. I think there was about three euros. And also you can't take any photos and you can't take any videos inside. They do provide you with some, but you can't take your own. Yeah, it's a shame, isn't it really? Yeah. That they, don't, uh, they don't allow it, but I'd still love to go inside at some point in the future. Just a shame we wouldn't be able to film and take photos if we did, but uh, it was beautiful seeing that. It's in such a nice condition as well. Something that's so old, obviously it's had a lot of restoration done over the years, but Oh, it was amazing. That's a big bucket list of mine to see that, as oh, you know. it was just so nice to see it, and we got a nice slow decline down. <laughs> yeah, that's what we want now. But no, it was really good. I enjoyed seeing that a lot. We'll make our way down to the bottom. A couple of gift shops down here. I'm not too sure if they'll still be open now or not, because, yeah, it's nearly the end of the day, really. Less than an hour to go, and it'll be dark. Um, but yeah, the gift shop, what we saw on the way back up, uh, is closed down there now. But this will probably take us 10, 15 minutes, I think, to get back down to the car park. Oh, it was so busy when we walked up like an hour, an hour and a half ago and like look at it now. It's deserted. Yeah, a lot of people probably come first thing on the morning. So actually it's probably better for going to that bridge and taking photos 
if you come up in the afternoon like we have, you know, early evening, look at all that horse poo there, oh. covered in flies. <laughs> here we go, look, there's a small little frog just down here, you see him? At least he won't get trampled on now and nobody been here. Oh, well, I'd say it took us about 20 minutes, including a short stop to walk back down. And yeah, without that, it probably would have been 15 minutes, not too bad. Oh, what a nice walk back down that was. Oh, that was lovely. We saw that lovely little frog. Oh, little <laughs> red frog. <laughs> yeah, I've got a small gift shop just down there that's still open. And yeah, there's quite a few accommodation places around here, a few hotels. And yeah, it looks like quite a few eateries down here as well. And you realise how much of a walk that was up there. I mean, there's the castle. We're looking up at it from here, and bear in mind we climbed up higher than that. And round the backs, yeah, it is quite a trek, but blimey, it was worth it. And we're back down here now, right by the car park. There we go, there's a cash machine just over there. So if you have got card only and want to purchase stuff when you're going up, you can use the cash machine. Yeah, got a bit of construction going on just over here. And there's the castle on the hill just up there. Good price on the postcards down here, look at that, one euro. All the mountains and yeah, snowy castle just there, that, that was beautiful over winter. 3D postcards, not too bad. Well it's been amazing seeing Neuschwanstein Castle for the first time. I do apologise again for my pronunciation, <laughs> uh, but it was amazing just to head up there and taking those views, wasn't it? Oh, that was absolutely brilliant to see, but my legs are now hurting. <laughs> you deserve a good meal and a good sleep oh, after that. Um, but yeah, after seeing that, probably like 25 years ago, uh, when I was a kid, I grew up watching Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Uh, and of course, a lot of the scenes were filmed inside the castle uh, and also as well with the flying car going over. I always wanted to come and see it. And uh, I've known about it ever since I was a kid because I did a lot of research into the Disney parks and where they got the inspiration from and just seeing that is a piece of Disney uh, kind of history as well which I love you know this was way before Disneyland uh, so it's amazing to see that the inspiration for Cinderella Castle and you can really see that with the details on there and just uh, overall just coming to see this lovely little uh, cute German town like little village it's really nice seeing the cows with the little bells on as well oh that was so cute we drove past and I was like oh they've got little bells on oh it's been really nice and yeah I was not expecting to come here I woke up this morning and uh, did not think we'd be visiting him, but it was so close to the part we were doing today and actually over on theme park worldwide in our vlog from Legoland Germany and we saw a model of this made of Lego bricks and I said oh I'd love to see it one day it's a big bucket list uh, not realizing it's actually closer than I thought and it was really nice um, to come and see that really enjoyed it we've got lots more adventures coming up on this channel thanks again for all of your support reaching 100,000 subscribers we Thank still can't so believe much. it and uh, you can watch our previous video to this one uh, unwrapping our YouTube plaque but uh, look how quiet it is around here so now. quiet. Deserted. But uh, there we go. Thank you all very much for watching and, and have, have your, your own, own adventures. adventures. We'll see you in the next video.